this video is going to be a quick one. Today we're going to be looking at a tool called Tune2FS. If you enjoy my tutorials and would like to see more, please think about contributing to my Patreon account at patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Tune2FS, I think we've used it before for labeling hard drive partitions. I think that's what we used it for uh, in a previous video. Uh, and it's used to get file information and to tune uh, file systems for EXT uh, formatted uh, partitions, EXT 2, 3, 4, so forth and so on. Today we're just going to get some information. So I can say, and you do need to be uh, root or sudo for uh, some of the functionality of this. So we're going to say sudo tune to uh, fs dash list, fs is for file system by the way, or dash l for a list, and let's give it a hard drive. I'll just say sda1 or a partition, I should say. We're going to give it a partition. Type in my password, which I think I typed wrong. And I will type again. Okay, so it gives a bunch of information on your hard drive here. Great. But let's say that we want to get when this partition was created. Or you can say grep um, dash I created. And it brings up the line when it was created, which actually it looks like I, I did this install on my birthday. So, yeah. Um, so that's great. Very simple right there. Look at this partition. Give me the information and then grep to grab just the date it was created. But let's say we want to do it for whatever our root file system is. We just want to create a script that whenever we run it, it, it will tell us whatever our root file system is. Now we could say, put into the script what our root file system is. because. Your, your root partition could be, uh, it could be SDA 3 or 5 or 4 or whatever you set it to. So let's just take this another step further and use some tools that we've used in the past, put them together and create a one-liner that will always check the root file system, whatever is mounted as root. Uh, and I'm sure there's multiple ways of doing this. In fact, I have two in my notes, two different ways of doing it. But we're going to take basically what we have here, but the, the big part is going to be this part. That little part I just deleted because we need to figure out, well, what partition is it? So one way we can use a DF tool. DF tells you information about your hard drive uh, and it's the space it's using, how many, how big it is, how much is used, and how much is available, and the percentage. Also tells you where it's mounted. And if we were to say, um, df forward slash, it gives us the information on what is mounted as root. So we can use that and then we can use this right here. So this is another way of saying where the partition is. We're saying uh, look under devices, look at our disk, look at them by their UUID and then this one has a UUID of that because I never change it and that's just the default that was issued to it. So, <clears throat> what we need to do there here is grab just this and get rid of the rest. And again, there's a few different ways of doing that. But what I'm going to do is I am going to say, pipe it into awk. And then I will use awk to print the first column. So here we got that. We still have this first line. Now, I'm sure there's a built-in awk option. But I'm just going to use tail. Tail will read the end of the file. I'll say read just the one line at the end, so the last line. That will give us what we need. So now we can take this, which tells us what partition is our root partition. And I can wrap that in parentheses with a dollar sign at the beginning. Remember, that means whatever command is in here, uh, take whatever the output is and replace it here. So now I can go back and say sudo tune to fs dash l with that there and it will give me the information on whatever my root partition is regardless of what number partition it is whether it's sda1 sda2 sda3 or sd uh, b1 sdb5 whatever it is wherever it's placed it doesn't matter it should in theory find it there all the time and again if we wanted to find out just when it was created we can say grep created, and there we go. Uh, before I did dash i, because off the top of my head I couldn't remember, dash i says case insensitive, so in case this was a capital C, it would have still found it, but now that I realize that it's lowercase c, it doesn't matter, I can do that. Boom, now I can put this as an alias or in a script, 
um, or just in my history in Bash or whatever. I'm actually not using Bash in this tutorial. I, I use uh, a different shell as my default shell, but whatever. As long as these tools are all here and these are pretty standard tools, tail, awk, grep, and F2, uh, F or tune to FS, uh, these are all standard tools. Uh, so this should work. And you, at any time I can run that and find out when I created the partition of my root file system. So a little quick tip there. You might find it useful for this, but hopefully just showing how these different tools can be placed together might have given you some other ideas. Uh, I hope that you do enjoy my tutorials. If you do, think about contributing to my Patreon account uh, on patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Help support and have give you more input on the videos I create. And I hope that you enjoy this video, future videos, visit my website, filmswhychris.com. It's Chris with a K. There should be a link in the description to that and my Patreon page. And I hope that you have a great day. And I've got the new resistor. And before I unscrew the old one and put this in, I'm going to plug this one in because it should work just hanging here. It doesn't have to be screwed in. 